hi everyone hope all you guys are doing good and to the topic from where we uh, we we stopped the last time that was the retention policies and the most vital role uh, which is being played within that policy is is messaging records management that is mrm and today we are just going to discuss that topic and well, let me start you from myself my name is rizwan and i am one of the senior consultants with alif consulting and as said we'll get started with this topic which is messaging records management or mrm many of the folks who are being working within office 365 as a mailbox migration expert and mailbox level entities uh, very very few people out of it knows as if what is mrm and how it is actually processed and what are the consequences or what are the steps to which through which you would actually be able to understand as if why this thing is required and why this is a, a throttling service i'll tell you all why this is a service and what is the role of this service uh, included or uh, injected with with the the retention that is the retention uh, getting and applied on mailboxes level not the retention which is being applied on organization wide so we we check with this and how this this thing works so as, as you all know that what is mrm mrm is actually the feature which is responsible to be able to move emails you know move emails either as, as we have discussed in the in the last session about retention so retention has two action either delete an email or either delete the content or retain the content so when it when it comes to deletion or retention mrm is the service you can call it as a service and it is a throttling service when i say throttling so yes it it works upon on every seventh day now uh, before before we discuss on how does it works let us talk about uh, why mrm and what is our mrm so uh, as per the action which is being said by the retention policy of uh, retention retaining the items or deleting the items for that stuff to be working it is most important thing that we should be able to understand whether mrm is running properly in office 365 or not okay so from uh whenever whenever the contents get retained or contents get moved now why i am saying you retain or move retain means saving the item or we can say retain as non deletion because you you can relate retain and move with one single stuff because if i say i want to retain this so it is simply means that i simply do not want to delete this yes i can retain this within some other folder or some folder hierarchy that is called as archiving solutions i can do that but i am not ready or in the position to delete emails or delete my content so whenever it comes to retention or moving the emails so yes irrespective of whether you have retention policy turned on okay listen very carefully retention policy now i am talking about the retention policy which is uh, you know set to deletion state so let's say if i have a retention policy and the policy's job okay is to delete the items try and understand what i'm trying you to say the policies the policies action is set to delete the content and the job of this uh, mrm is to check whether if there is any retention applied on a mailbox this is basically a service and it would be having its own prerequisite so if those prerequisites are not met it is not going to run and if this is not going to run none of your emails are going to get moved or get deleted so from from moving's point of it would not be having any issues why because uh, the service would work flawlessly if you are just moving the items from one folder that is the primary folder to the archiving folder it would not be having any issues but let's say if you have uh, selected that you want to get this emails deleted okay and if there is retention hold applied on that mailbox so the word itself means that i am applying a hold and when we say hold it is simply related uh, with uh, you know uh, like not deleting the item so we need to check with certain checklist that if retention hold on a mailbox level is enabled the mrm service is not going to work and if mrm is, is not going to get work it means that the emails are not going to get deleted we'll check it how how does that works up 
so if you have checked this retention tags and retention policies how we have defined it earlier that you can create your own custom retention tags and retention policies wherein retention tags are three different types the default retention tags the uh, retention tags itself which gets in applied to the default folders like inbox sent items archive and so on and the default folders gets in applied to each and every folder and items of the of the complete mailbox it is a mailbox wide policy and the third one is the personal tags which gets in applied uh, to to custom folders or to some folders wherein we need to manually apply those policies to the mailboxes or the folders so personal tags are the ones which takes in the highest precedence but yes they have to be manually assigned and all these tags gets in feeded within retention policies so whatever type of a policy you create uh, within a retention policy with the help of this tags automatically the policy is the one which is going to apply it on the mailbox and whatever action is being defined in the policies in the form of tags those tags are going to apply it. if you say that you want to delete the emails the emails are going to get deleted if you have multiple conflicted uh, tags like delete the emails and retain the emails retention is going to take the precedence if you have long retention one year one month uh, sorry one day one week one month one year so the longest retention is going to take the precedence if you have deletion so the longest shortest deletion is going to take the precedence like one day one week one month one year so it would take the retention tag as one day so any email which is older than one day it is going to delete those emails if there are only four tags the deletion tags with the same type uh, applied to a same mailbox I'm sorry a same policy which would then get applied to the retention uh, to the to the mailbox so this is how MRM works with it because MRM uh, these tags inform to the MRM service that hey uh, our job is done the services uh, the tags are intacted within the policy the policy is applied to the mailbox now how does mailbox start getting it processed so MRM is the one which would be running that so this is basically a service which gets in executed on every seventh day so now when we as an administrator would not be able to understand when was that seventh day whether it is the sixth day today or fifth day or the first day so we are not sure so we have to leave it as it is and we need to wait for that seventh day to come through and once that seventh day comes through automatically it checks in whether there's any new retention tag or any new retention policy applied for the mailbox if it checks this yes the changes have been made so automatically it would start processing those changes but yes if we do not want to wait for those seven days or even for seven minutes we have we have another command let called as manage folder assistant mfa so what is the job of this mfa is manage folder assistant is that if we would be enforcing this command on a mailbox level automatically it would start the time and it would tell the mrm service that hey i do not know since when you were lastly processed so if i'm running this command start hyphen manage folder assistant uh enforcely I'm telling you that please start working on this mailbox and we need to move this mailbox's data real quick and in order to get that done I want you the MRM service to be get quickly getting and executed to this mailbox so that our job gets started okay so MFA is also an important aspect in the working uh, mechanism of MRM and this is an MRM how you would be creating is this you'd be creating a retention tag you'd be configuring the policy and you would be applying the policy to the desired mailboxes so that MRM is deployed and now the job of MFA gets started so this would be all from my side for this with this specific policy this is all about MRM and in order to be able to tell as if how does MRM works I'd be creating a discrete video on managed folder assistance wherein with the help of a script we can easily tell uh, that uh, how, how we would be checking it under when did MFA got processed on this mailbox but yes uh, with the quick glimpse of this I can quickly show you uh, the the retention tags and how to check with the hole so let's say this is the tag if I would be using this that's get hyphen mailbox hyphen identity and that would be Rizwan at nori 12 dot com by FL and 
I simply enter the word retention. So if you see this retention, there is it retention hold enable and it simply shows as false. If this value over here shows to me as true, it means that MRM is not going to get processed on this mailbox. The reason being for MRM to work, you know, and if your action is set to delete, most important thing, let's say if this is set to true, and if you want to retain the items, it means that your email simply needs to be moved from your primary mailbox to archive mailbox. Then even if this is turned on, it would not make any big difference and it would move. MRM would work. But yes, if you need to delete the emails, okay, deletion, it would stop it. It would prevent it from deleting the emails only if this policy is set to true and MRM in the in the D in the tag in the retention tag if we have defined that no, we need to delete the emails. And if this is turned on, it is not going to allow, it is not going to turn, you know remove the email similar to that we have one more thing called as elc processing so if elc processing this one over here if this is by default this is set to false if this attribute in over here is set to true it would simply state this is more often related with the uh, the managed folder assistant and with mrm if this is set to true this simply means that uh, on this mailbox we have not allowed mrm to process it so this one on, on very high scale we have seen that very clever or very smart admins do this but this is not good in case if there's any uh, you know situation or a condition for the emails to be moved or deleted and if this thing is because very very rare, rare people know this and they check with this parameter in over here so always keep in mind this is the default option the default value for EL processing which is set to false and it should always be set to false okay it shouldn't be set to true and unlike if you would like the MRM or the MFA to be able to get it processed onto your mailboxes okay that is all from my side for this this specific topic if you have any things which needs to be have some clarification on MRM feel free to contact me on info at alifconsulting.com and that would be all from my side for this specific topic that's all you take care of yourself and you stay safe. Stay safe and stay blessed. Bye-bye.